Hi, welcome back to this in advanced inventory tutorial. Uh, my name is Mihalik with Invicta Studios. Uh, if you have any questions or possibly would like one-on-one -on -one tutoring with uh, the blueprints or UMG or anything, just feel free to comment down below and if I have time I'll be sure to help you. Uh, this next step uh, we have is the to make the inventory widget. Um, so start with adding a folder so click blueprints create new folder and I call it UMG so click on that and create user interface widget blueprint and I name mine inventory widget open that up All right, I'll start with uh, explaining some things uh, with the root, you have the canvas panel. Um, this is basically the uh, screen of your uh, computer monitor or TV or whatever you watch it on. Um, let me click that. Uh, borders, um, they pretty much surround whatever you put in it. And um, we're actually going to need one, so I'll just pull one out. Um, you can change the brush color or put a texture on there to um, make like uh, maybe different buttons or backgrounds um, I usually just set it for now to kind of a darker gray um, buttons you can click on it and make events happen um, checkbox you can toggle things images you can um, bind it to bring up images um, we're actually going to use one. Like whenever you click an item, it'll bring up the thumbnail for it. Uh, lots of different things, like the uh, horizontal and vertical boxes, are really useful. Um, though we actually need one right now, so we'll just pull a vertical box into the border. And what it does is it basically makes a list. So every time you put anything in there, it'll go from top to bottom, and it'll, it'll stretch all the way across right now. And you can. Uh, reorder them by moving them up and down. Uh, let's go ahead and put a text in there. I like to set it to about 16 and I like to set it as alignment in the center. Alright, there's um, spacers which are useful. You're just uh, When you drag it down it's easiest to um, I mean, you can drag and put directly on the designer, but when there's th things like ordering and other things might be behind other uh, widgets, it gets real difficult. So I usually work almost only in the hierarchy, and I don't worry and worry about the visuals until at the end. So when you do drag down, you usually want to drag like directly onto the box, like the name of like a vertical box or the border, and it'll pop it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up like a uh, title, which you can set the text to be inventory. Um, there's going to be a little space, and then there'll be the uh, a big scroll box for where all the items will go. So inventory, there's the space, which I'll set to about five in the y direction. Um, next, I want there to be uh, some space here. Uh, the scroll box in space. So since it's going to be horizontal, it needs to be a horizontal box, which is right here. And you, you drop that inside the vertical box. So it goes text, space, or horizontal box, which is really tiny right now, but that's okay. Um, let's add a spacer, and you drop that inside of it because it's going to be. This is basically the shell holding these things. Set to about 15. So for the most, uh, not that. For the most part, you don't really want to worry about the visuals until the end. That's uh, a bit big. Let's set it to, uh, yeah, it's still big. Set to about five. Um. Then a, a next, uh, another important thing you can use is the size box. So it basically sets like a forced size if it can. So what I'm going to do is put the scroll box inside of that so it doesn't 
scale weird or get bigger and smaller depending on the items in it. So I'm gonna put the where is the scroll box inside of the size box. And I'm gonna set the size box with this uh width override to uh let's see what looks good. Fifty, nope. One one twenty five it's at about 150 and I'll set the height to see what 200 looks like zoom out mm, that looks about good but I'd probably set about 250 and you notice it goes down below it but that's okay um, you just re-click the border and you can drag it and resize it with this so I'll set this about here Actually, something I'm going to do, I'm going to change this. Um, I'm going to put a border inside the horizontal box. And I'm going to put the size box inside the border. That way, this will have a background. Because this border contains the size box and scroll box, it's going to put the color around it. And I just want it to be a darker gray, so it's it stands out from the front. And uh, it'll be a little easier to read text. So I'll set it to about there. Because down the road, you might not want just a gray um, background. You might want to set this to an actual texture, like a maybe a old piece of paper looking scroll, or it depends on what kind of game you're wanting to play. And uh, let me just scoot this over so it's a little more even. Um, down the line, we're probably going to. Um, add some space in between here and hold information to change that will show like the, the weight, how many items you're carrying, different things like that. Uh, next, I like to have it set up where there's a picture here of uh, whatever you click on. It will change um, as you click things. And it will have like the information of whatever you click on here as well as the buttons to do stuff like drop or use or equip, those kind of things. So to create, oh, I'll, first I'll show you something that's useful. Uh, when you click something like a border or whatever it contains all the other things, there's this thing called an anchor. What the anchor does is, well, it anchors to anchors it to a part of the screen. So while the screen resolution may change, it'll always keep it this far away from the anchor. So on a really small screen, this over here could be like right next to the edge um, so I usually keep it around the center just to make it simple and I'll drag it and I'll put it about here because um, we'll have the other two things here um, so if you ever test it and you change resolutions and it's way off it's probably because you forgot an anchor alright so next let's add another border about here and change this just to the gray about the same and let's put in a image and it fill, fills up the screen because it's on a horizontal fill and vertical fill so you, um, you can just change it to fit in the middle because this picture can actually change once you bind it to tell it what um, picture to set so you can either set it in the bind to a certain thing or um, have it set differently. So as you notice, um, it stays in the middle. So I'll set it here to give it plenty of space if we use a bigger picture later on. And as we add in thumbnails and test it, we can adapt it to that. And we'll add the final part. Scroll this down, scoot it over, and set this to gray again. So we'll start with a vertical box. Well, you can pop it in there just because it's so simple. Uh, start with text at the top. Uh, set that down again. Probably about 14. Oh, that's wrong. Nope, oh, that's wrong too. Set to the middle, and I'm going to set this to say item name just so I remember what it is but we'll actually bind this 
to change depending on what they click on. It actually still looks a little bit too big, so I said about a 12. So I want the item name, a little space, it'll have the information like the weight, size, um, what it, item uses, whatever you want it to have here, a little space, and then we'll set up a scroll box to have the long text description. So let's add a spacer. Uh, it's about good size. Add a text, which is gargantuan, so we'll set this to about 10. Uh, set about 8. This will probably be really small on my big screen, but we can size this all up later. I want that to be in the middle as well. And we'll say, I have a variable for weight, so. Alright, did I spell that right? I don't know, it's good enough. Nope, that didn't look right. There we go. Uh, yes, add a, add a space. What we can add in things later on if we if I forgot something. Spacer, a little bigger. Five. All right, and uh, I'll set up the same way I did here. So there's this a little bit of space, so it's not pressed up against the edge. Um, so that. Since it'll be, we'll be doing the work horizontally, we need a horizontal box. A spacer. Inside the horizontal box because it's going to be contained in it. Uh, a border so we can have the darker background to read on. Inside the border, we want a size box. And inside the size box, we want a scroll box. Oh, no. I can't read it. Delete that. Let's open this so I can get the... Size box. Nope, it's not right. Scroll box. Alright, and we'll set the size box to whatever fits width, uh, 100, mm, about 150, that's good. The height, let's see it about 75, mm, almost 80, and we'll change the board. Right. That's about all the time I have for this video specifically, so in the next one we'll finish up, uh, We'll add the buttons and we'll start adding in code functionality. So uh, stay tuned. If you uh, like the video, be sure to like and subscribe.